All right, Shalom to the elect. I want to start by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is the one who the world ignorantly calls God. Yah means He, and Hawa means to be or exist. So Yahweh means He is or He exists or He to be. Yahweh is not a so-called white man, he's a so-called black man. But Hashem means in the name. Yahweh Shah is the true name of the Messiah. Yahweh Shah is the one of the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Yah means he and Yahweh Shah means savior, deliver. So Yahweh Shah's name means he is the savior or he is the deliverer. Yahweh Shah also was a so-called black man. But Hashem wants to give me in the name. Rechak with the Holy Spirit. Rechak me in the spirit of Kodash the Holy. So I said all the praises, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles. Great millstone, every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. So, hey, man, you know, quick thought. Hey, you know, just go, looking at the um, live stream Apostle Ron Lobb did for the curses. And, hey, man, to this very day, 2023, October, or October of 20, 2023, we are still under these curses, Okay. Still, to this very day, you know, you feel like, you know, you know, or, you know, you as an Israelite, you know, a so-called Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Latino, Native American, or Seminole Indian, right? You, you know, you, um, you don't pretty much, you know, you feel like things ain't going your way, you know, what is hell that you get? Remember, you know, part of it is because of them curses, Okay. Part of it is because of those curses, man. You know? And I got it here. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. And it says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right? Um, so, yeah. You know? And, 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 and it's... And I got the um, note here, it says, to come upon thee. Well, it says, in short words, this verse is telling us, Israelites, that if we didn't obey the laws of Yahweh, these curses would be on us. And they are, to this very day. They're on the Israelites, no matter what the Israelites look like, because you got Israelites that look like so-called white people. Okay? You know? But the curses are on them. But when you look at an actual Edomite or a so-called white person, you know, them curses ain't on them. You know? So these curses are going to be on the Israelites. The only person to get them off of us, all right, is going to be Yahweh Shai, not no other man, all right? You know, when Yahweh Shai returns and delivers his leg, then the curses will be lifted up off of us, man. I tell you, then we're going to have to deal with this, all right? You know, when, hey, man, when you read these things, okay, when you go through these curses and read them, you figure, you find it, you, you see that, these only apply to the Israelites, the so-called Negro. Or you see that these only apply to the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse forty-five. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee. Pursue thee. Pursue means you know, pretty much to follow something. So no matter where else Israelites go on the earth, these curses are going to follow us. You could go to. You can go all the way to Indonesia, shit, China, Australia, all right? But these curses are still going to be on the Israelites, man, all right? It says, and overtake thee, okay? Meaning the curses will come upon us, Israelites, and there's nothing we could do about it. There's nothing we can do about it. You know, as a brother brings out a camp, you know, or, you know, among the brotherhood sometimes, Jake's always talking about generational curses. You ain't going to be able to get these generational curses off of us, man. And these curses are generational, <laughs> you know, they come upon us, our kids, 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 so on and so forth. All right. And all this is because what? It says, because thou hearken is not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. See? So all this is because we didn't listen and keep us Israelites. It's all because us Israelites... All right, they didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly father, Yahweh. Verse 46, and they shall be upon thee. Upon who? The Israelites. You know, 
It didn't, you know, regardless of what we look like. Because think about it, you know, the man is what carries the seed, right? So you got a man, an Israelite man, he lays down with a heathen woman, right? And a woman, okay, you know, have, they have children. They say, you know, generation after generation, the, you know, same, the same cycle, that, that child will come out looking like a, you know, say it was a so-called white woman, that child will come out looking like a so-called white person, okay? You know, but nevertheless, he will still be going through these curses, okay? So it says, verse 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and for a sign, all right? Meaning that whoever we see these curses applying or happening to is a sign that they're an Israelite, okay? It says, and upon thy seed forever, meaning these curses are generational. So you know you're an Israelite if these curses happen to you, okay? And that's how, you know, this is one chapter that we can pinpoint this it says in the in the scriptures bro <laughs> all these scoffers saying are y'all into israelites it literally says and they shall be upon thee for a sign okay <laughs> so we know we're the israelites bro you can't twist and turn it a, a, a certain way the so-called blacks hispanics native americans are the israelites man all right you know what this might be a quick hit but i'm gonna just jump down here deuteronomy 28 and 68 and yeah and i'm gonna expound on, on the point for time's sake, Deuteronomy 28 and 68 says, And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen bond and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you, meaning pretty much, hold on, so like you. Buy meaning redeem. So no man will get us out of the condition we're in except for Yahweh Shai. But Yahweh Shai's return is soon to come. Let me just get this real quick. This is the book of Mark. Chapter 13 And starting at verse 28 Now learn a parable of the fig tree When her branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves You know that summer is near So it's like the, when the fig tree starts to bud You know summer is near So just like you would know that Verse 29 So when, so ye in like manner When ye shall see these things come to pass Know that it is not even at the doors So in like manner when we see So just like we see the fig tree starting to bud And we know summer is near when we see the prophecy starting to happen, then we know Yahweh Shai's return is near. Okay, and when Yahweh Shai returns, that is going to be the beginning of Jacob's or the nation of Israel's um, immortal rule over the planet Earth forever and ever in righteousness. All right. So, Lord, within this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Kadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone, ever well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace, which in Hebrew, Shalom. So, Shalom to the elect.